In today's video, we are going to see formulas related to retail as well as restaurant business. And the formulas which we are going to cover are COS or COGS means COS or COGS, cost of sales or cost of goods sold, COL, cost of labor, APC or APT means average per check or average per transaction, SSSG means same store sales growth, where we are going to compare current sales with last year sales. SSTG means same store transaction growth where transaction comparison will be done. Menu mix and sales mix, TMTO, team member turnover, retention means team member retention. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. The first thing which we will cover is cost of sales or cost of goods sold. This formula will be applicable for food cost also. So what is food cost? Total cost of raw materials involved to make menu mix items. And what will be the formula? Total consumption divided by net sales. So we will have to calculate our consumption in the very beginning. So formula for consumption will be opening stock plus total receiving plus transfer in plus wastage plus variance minus transfer out minus closing stock. We will calculate consumption first. So the formula will be plus or equal to opening stock plus total receiving plus transfer in plus wastage plus variance minus transfer out minus closing stock and we will hit enter. So we got our consumption value over here. Now we have to calculate the percentage for cost or cogs. So the formula will be plus or equal to total consumption divided by net sales. Net sales means gross sales minus all the taxes and we will hit enter. We want our value in percentage. So we will click on the figure, we'll go on top and we'll click on percentage. So the percentage of our cost or COGS is 9%. Now we will move to COL means cost of labor. So what is COL or cost of labor? Total expenses done on staff or done for staff is known as COL. And the formula for COL is total labor cost divided by net sales. So what are the expenses done on a staff by the company? Salary, PF, ESIC, bonus, reimbursements, staff welfare, staff meal or food allowance, staff uniform and recruitment charges. Now we will calculate our COL. We will click over here plus or equal to salary plus PF plus ESIC plus bonus plus reimbursements plus staff welfare plus staff meal plus food allowance if any apart from staff meal plus staff uniform plus recruitment charges. We will take this in bracket divided by net sales and we will hit enter. We will click on the figure, we will go on top and we will select percentage sign 81%. When the figures will change, the percentage will change automatically. Means when the sales will increase, the cost of labor will decrease. Now we will move to APC or APT. Full form of APC is average per check and full form of APT is average per transaction or ticket. So what is this APC or APT? The total amount spent by a customer on a particular bill is known as APC or APT. And the formula will be plus or equal to sales divided by transactions. And we will hit enter. We will drag this. We'll remove the decimal places. And our APC or APT got calculated. Now we will see SSSG and SSTG. Full form of SSSG is same store sales growth. Here we will compare current day, month or year sales with last year. SSTG, same store transaction growth. We will compare current day, month or year with last year transaction. Here we have got sales of 2022 and transaction of 2022. Over here we have got sales of 2023 and transactions of 2023 and these are month wise. 
सो फॉर्मूला फॉर एस 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 जी विल बी प्लस और इक्वल टू वी विल ओपन द ब्रैकेट प्रेजेंट सेल्स माइनस पास्ट सेल्स वी विल क्लोज द ब्रैकेट डिवाइडेड बाई पास्ट सेल्स इन टू हंड्रेड सो वी विल हिट एंटर we will go on top and we'll click on percentage sign we will take this in center i'll select this and we'll click on percentage sign let me repeat the formula plus or equal to present minus past divided by past into 100 now we will drag this so our sssg got calculated The formula for SSTG will be the same, same store transaction growth plus or equal to present minus past divided by past into hundred. We are not going to do hundred. We are going to click on percentage sign. Now we will drag this, and our SSTG got calculated. Our next topic is menu mix and sales mix calculations. So what is menu mix? quantity of a particular item sold divided by total quantity sold these are the items of which we are going to calculate the menu mix we will click over here so what will be the formula for menu mix plus or equal to quantity of a particular item divided by total quantity sold of all the items and we will hit enter we will click on the figure we will go on top and we will select percentage sign we will go to the formula bar we'll click next to d15 and we'll press function f4 and we'll hit enter now we will drag this so the menu mix of all the items got calculated the basic reason behind inserting dollar we wanted to lock our cell now we will calculate sales mix and the formula for sales mix is sales of a particular item divided by total sales plus or equal to sales of a particular item means pizza divided by total sales of all the items we will press function f4 and we'll hit enter we will click on the figure we'll go on top and we'll select percentage sign now we will drag this so the menu mix for pizza is 12% and sales mix is 7% don't be confused in menu mix and sales mix menu mix and sales mix are totally different things menu mix of a particular item can be up and the sales mix of that particular item can be low we will take an example of chocolate ice cream menu mix is 16% and the sales mix is only 8% but when we see french fries menu mix is only 7% and sales mix is 11% now we will see the formula for team member turnover or tmto so what all factors we consider while calculating tmto or team member turnover the number of team members that either resigned or were terminated transferred or promoted out of the restaurant or shop during a given time frame and the time frame can be one month one year or even quarter the formula will be total leavers in last 12 rolling months so what is 12 rolling month suppose that we are going to calculate from jan so it will be from jan to jan so if we count from jan to jan it became 13 months so 12 rolling months means total 13 months jan to jan or feb to feb or march to march so the formula for tmto will be total leavers in last 12 rolling months divided by average population in last 12 rolling months means to calculate the turnover we will need last year data also i'll click over here on 2023 and the formula will be plus or equal to sum bracket open total leavers in last 12 rolling month means from jan to jan bracket close divided by average population so we will insert formula of average bracket open we will select this we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter I had already selected percentage sign from top so we are able to see this in percentage we will drag this and the turnover percentage got calculated in case you don't want to consider the figure of last one year you can calculate for the quarter also retention formula for retention will be 
total levers in certain period divided by current population i'll click over here plus or equal to total levers it will be sum bracket open total levers bracket close divided by current population means current staffing and i'll hit enter we'll select the figure we'll go on top and we'll select percentage sign we'll take this in center and we'll drag this down so our retention got calculated so these are the few excel formulas which are used in retail as well as restaurant business i'll provide link of this file in description box in case you want to download you can i'm sure you must have loved the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon with a new topic till then bye bye